What's going on guys? Right now we're in San Diego. We've actually been here for a couple of days already. We've had a lot of time to do some really cool things. I even had time to cheat on my barber. Jameson, I'm sorry man, but I really needed a cut. I decided I want to start a little more abruptly this week with story time. All right, I'm running late, so I hope you guys don't mind if I get dressed while we talk. So, something that we haven't really spent much time talking about, I feel like Mr. Rogers right now putting my shoes on while we're talking to each other. Could you be mine, won't you be my neighbor? Something we really haven't talked much about is just how awkward vlogging can be. You gotta be really comfortable being the guy in some public space walking around talking to himself with a camera in front of him. So, I'm always like 50% insecure when we're walking around and I'm holding that up and we're in public. Or you'll notice a lot of these shots where I'm actually talking to the camera happen when we're someplace really secluded and there's no one around. The first day that we flew in, I was walking on the beach in San Diego and I was battling all this insecurity and thinking to myself, Dave, just push through it, man. It's beautiful out here. When this kid walks up to me and he goes, hey, are you a vlogger? And I was like, uh, I mean, I guess I make videos sometimes, sure. And he goes, how many subscribers do you have? Come on, kid. So, I don't really know what to say to the kid. I mean, I don't want to let him down. I'm like, oh, you know, I don't know, not that many. And he goes, less than a million? Why, by the way, where were this kid's parents? I'm like, yeah, man, less than a million. And he just looks at me for a second, he goes, and he just walks away. Like, I've let him down so much. Now, here's the deal. Rather than just like, making me even more insecure. Uh, it actually kind of encouraged me a little bit. There are actually two things that this little brat on the beach made me think about, and I'm gonna unpack both of them a little bit later on, but I wanna tell you the first one right now, and it's gonna sound a little bit harsh at first, but bear with me until we unpack this, and that is this. Nobody cares who you are. Yes, I'm sad. I know, I know, I know. I said I felt like Mr. Rogers earlier, and that's not very Mr. Rogers of me, but I'm running late. I am on my own for dinner tonight, and so right behind me is Puesto. I looked them up online and saw Taco Landia voted them best taco in San Diego not too long ago. I'm gonna check them out, and I'm gonna let you know if they were right. So outside of Puesto, there's a sign that says Mexico City Street Food. I don't know what part of Mexico these fools are running around where filet mignon is what's being served on the street. It's almost not fair to put filet mignon in a taco and then ask me if it was good. Lobster was just a stupid decision. We'll give the guac an eight out of 10 only because I've had better and you just gotta leave some room at the top. fairly short stop at James Coffee. I got some merch, I got some coffee, but I was talking to one of the baristas there. I didn't get his name because I'm just a bad person, but he was like, bro, I am also a barista at this place called Por Vida, and you gotta go down to the barrio. They're doing this crazy thing tonight. They're gonna have all sorts of low riders out, uh, cars, bikes, uh, just crazy stuff going up and down the avenue, and he was not wrong. I wish I'd gotten his name because homeboy was right. That was awesome. Uh, definitely uh, a unique experience. San Diego, you're not letting me down tonight. 
All right, guys, well, this is actually the whole point of what we're doing out here in San Diego. As you can see behind me, they're setting up for a wedding right now. We are on the beautiful Breakers Beach here, and Katie's sister, her twin sister, actually, is getting married tonight, and I am gonna try my hand at amateurly, let me emphasize, uh, filming a little bit of this for her. Then I'm definitely gonna eat while everyone else is on the dance floor. What else is new? guys the wedding is over I wanted to unpack a little bit of what I kind of uncanned at the beginning of this episode I was out on this very beach the other day walking around with my camera like I am right now when this little kid came up to me and you know the whole story how many followers do you have once I said yeah I had less than a million the kid just walked away from me and was like who the heck are you then I know that it sounds like a harsh lesson to learn but the first thing that really set into my mind that I really grabbed a hold of right then is this nobody knows and more importantly nobody cares who you are. Now, I'm not saying that nobody loves you. I'm not saying you don't have friends and supporters, maybe even fans and serious followers. What I am saying is, in the grand scheme of things, there are 7 billion people on this planet. There are more people who don't know that you exist than there are people who love you to death, or even people who hate you and want you to feel insecure. So the second point that I wanted to talk about, and kind of building off of that, if nobody knows who you are, more importantly, if most people don't know or care who you are, then what the hell is holding you back from doing doing what you want to do, from starting the business, from creating whatever experience or content it is that you're so insecure about. Even right now, I'm walking around out here on the beach and people over here on the deck are staring at me like, why is this guy talking to himself into this camera? And I just realized, you know what? I'm not going to see half of these people literally for the rest of my life. So thank you to that little 10 year old brat on the beach for reminding me that nobody knows or cares who I am and that the only person that I'm going to live with for the rest of my life, the only person and that I can fill with regret because of the things that I chose not to do out of shame or embarrassment is me. Now, we've got a couple days left in San Diego. Uh, the sun finally came out today. Should be out for the rest of the weekend. I'm gonna take you with us to some of the coolest spots and we'll see you next week. I'll be back next time. Bye-bye.